Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Essence of Life. If you are new to this channel, you are most welcome. Today we will see what are the ways we could keep our heart healthy and young. As you all know, the heart works round the clock. That gives the oxygen and nutrients to all of the cells. That pumps the blood to all the part of our body. And the pressure of that blood flow will be 120 over 80. That's the average pressure. So when it's very easy for the heart to pump the blood towards the lower part of the body because that is the that's called the orthostatic pressure. That's with the gravitational force, it is easy to pump the blood to the lower portions. But then when the impure blood, the impure blood which contains carbon dioxide will be collected back to the heart. From the cells, the blood will be coming back to the heart, but the pressure is will be 15 to 20 millimeter of mercury. So how that happens, the pressure difference is huge. How the impure blood from the lower extremities will be carried back to the heart? Will the heart will attract the blood back? No. Will it pump it back? No, it can't do that. What, what happens is we have a pair of calf muscles. The contraction of the calf muscle help the blood to pass from the lower extremities to the towards the heart. So we have the deep veins inside this calf muscles. So through that there are some valves. Valve mean it will open only towards one side. So the contraction of this calf muscles help the deep veins to carry the blood to towards to the heart. The calf muscles are called the second heart. It is a new information actually. We most of the people are not aware about that. So what we have to do whenever we we are going somewhere we have to use the stairs and we have to daily walk at least minimum 30 minutes. That help the calf muscle to contract and the activities and the active lifestyle help this so that some people we could see they used to develop the edema and inflammation towards the lower extremities and they'll be keeping in the sedentary work that is very common and the varicose vein it's a major complication of this sedentary lifestyle so it's good to have a very active lifestyle There are four different exercises included in this session and for doing the exercises you have to choose a raised surface which could be a block or a step. In the first exercise you have to stand in attention position with your heels outside the raised surface and fingers on the raised surface. Here in the first exercise Move your heels upward and downward for 10 to 15 times repeatedly. This is the first exercise. In the next exercise, you have to move your heels towards each other and your toes apart from each other. And then repeat the movements that is the heels are pointed upwards and then downwards repeatedly for 10 to 15 times. In the third exercise, you have to move your toes towards each other and heels apart from each other and then repeat the movements. This could be repeated for 10 to 15 times. Next is the fourth exercise in which one of your leg is kept on the other and then repeat the movements that is the heels are moved upwards and downwards repeatedly for 10 to 15 minutes then the same applies for the next leg too and this concludes the exercise session hope you're going to follow my tips if you like my video, please subscribe into this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Stay well and blessed. See you. Bye.
ಜಯ